There he is. Boom, took it. Dropped right in front of him. Carp are very fussy. Hey guys, today we will take you through a bit of a day in the life of uh, chasing some mud marlin slash European carp. Absolute cracking day today, as you can tell, look at the weather, it's awesome. Uh, today we're fishing out on Lake Hume, um, which we have been the last couple of weeks and been doing really well actually. It's, it's crazy to think how many carp there actually are, like I reckon we've pulled close to 150 out at the moment and like to double that amount, but uh, anyway, stay tuned and um, We'll show you a bit of uh, sight casting GoPro style. Cheers. Get into it. Alrighty. So I thought I would give you a little bit of a rundown of the rod system that I'm currently running. I was running a four weight rod, um, but obviously just being in the lakes and that, I changed a bit of a setup. So I ended up going with the Primal Raw CCC rod, uh, six weight, nine foot four piece. Reel, this thing's awesome. It's a Ross reel, um, a Minus six weight as well it's incredible uh the drag's awesome especially with carp uh the line that i'm using i did have on my old one a three times tippet uh sorry three times leader but it was a little bit light i kept snapping it so i've gone to a two time tapered leader which works awesome because you are uh, do not want to go light on these things they just love fighting weight comes in handy because you don't want to get too close. See too far away you won't see it. It's right in front of him. He will go for that. There he goes for it. him will he see that there he is just like that now that is perfect you gotta be really cautious because they just he wants to run me over that fence but pulling back his shallow water like his back was halfway out the water so it was like if you cast it too close literally he would have just spooked him and they're very spooky fish but then if you get it too far away they don't see it so it's like you don't want to cast on top of it but then you don't want to cast too far away I look at him go you just never get bored of it i've only just started doing it the last like four weeks probably just while it's been exceptionally hot Fortunate enough to get a section of private property where it's just um, the farm is awesome. He's he's happy for us to fish on it because obviously he doesn't like carp. So we're doing him a favour while we're having fun. So it's a win-win. There we have it. The first muddy marlin for the day. They stink. That's such a smelly fish. Oh. This is what I'm using. Seems to be doing the trick. Black. I usually cut that off. They don't seem to like long, long tail, but this seems to be working not too bad. So I haven't altered it, but just black, gold bead head weighted, a little bit of tinsel around it to get that reflection in the sun. As you can see, there's about three or four of them right there. Let's try and catch one. Will they outsmart me? I do have the all-wheel drive Crocs on. 
four wheel drives engaged. Let's try and trick these dirty big marlins. I don't think they're liking the green at the moment. Yeah, they are. Here I was about to say they're not liking the green. It's just such a strong fish. They're just really fun on fly gear. Especially sightseeing. Literally sight cast them walking along seeing them and then cast them on top of them. There's a bit of a drop there with the snag that he keeps sitting down in. I can't pull too tight because I'm only running light tip it. Oh, quick, yeah. <laughs> I'm right in front of me. I'm going on his head. Just like that. Yeah, he literally dunked and he just took it. <laughs> Naughty little thing. And the fight begins. Between the European Carp and the Ross Reel and Primal CCC Raw. Who will win? Well... Primal and Ross Reel are the big European Cup. Big ugly looking creatures. Oh no, he's a croc down. He didn't have the lockers in, he's back. He's back. I'm on route. I'm coming. Yeah, that's good. That's good drag. God damn it. Again, just walk back a little bit. Yeah. Call that one the double hookup. All right, well, there we have it. Uh, absolute cracking day, chasing some carp. Um, got some pretty cool video footage of showing how aggressive these things can be, um, especially when you, you cast on them and the amount of you know videos I've got where You'll just cast it out to them and just on top, you know, I'm using a streamer that I usually let sink, sit on the bottom and then they take. I'm literally casting in front, strip, strip, and then they're just chasing it and absolutely aggressive. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. It's our first ever video that we've put up. Um, got a couple of requests about doing a little bit more of this. So this is what we're going to try and do, just take you, you know, on the journey of the fly fishing that we do and what we get up to on our weekends. Anyway, thanks for watching, legends. Um... And the farmer got us a big watermelon, so I know what we're having for uh, lunch tomorrow.